Hello everyone, I hope you're doing fine. My name is Skyline, and today we're talking a little bit about crosshairs. So in the new PTR, well, I guess it's not that new anymore, it's kind of kind of old news, but relatively recent in the PTR, they added all these fancy new options for crosshairs. You can now customize your crosshair like never before. You can change basically any aspect of it, and in some ways it's even more customizable than Counter-Strike now, which is a game very well known for its crosshair customization options. Now, if you've been following me at certain points, you'll know that I have always sworn by the short crosshair with the small gap, the one you see on the screen. Every hero, all the time, swear by this crosshair. But, actually, with the new options, I use a couple different crosshairs on the PTR. Basically, there are four different types of heroes. There are accurate heroes, like McCree, Soldier... Farah is accurate because her rockets always go in the same place every time without fail, right? There is Widowmaker, Hanzo, Torbjorn. They're accurate that it goes exactly where you want it every time, except it does have a little bit of a drop, right? Even even like a Lucio is perfectly accurate because his stuff always goes exactly where your crosshair is pointing. So these are all heroes. Genji is a good example because his shurikens have perfect accuracy. These are examples of heroes that have, well, perfect accuracy all the time, and that's why I like this particular crosshair for them. It's the least intrusive, and it's just kind of the most accurate. Now, there is an alternative. A lot of people tend to like using the dot crosshair. In order to get the dot, all you have to do is turn the opacity on your crosshair all the way down, and the opacity on the dot all the way up. On the current client, on the, on the main client, it looks something like this. Some, somewhere in between these two values-ish right now. But the problem with the, the dot, and this was a little bit of a fad in Counter-Strike also a little while ago, and a lot of pros tried it out, and then they switched because of this reason, was, is that you can't see what you're looking at with the dot. When you use the dot, it really hurts your tracking because the center of your vision is obscured. So if, you know, in this case, these, these bots that I'm shooting at are very, very large. But if this were a player, this dot would actually be larger than their head, which would make it very difficult to see whether, you know, which way they're going and what they're doing. Now, with the new options, this has been mitigated quite a bit. You can now go in and change your dot to be smaller than it is on the current client. So, boop, you can make it really small. And in addition, you can even make it a little bit transparent. You don't want to make it too transparent or else you'll lose it on the screen. But for example, this dot seems pretty good. You can kind of see through it. You can it doesn't really obscure your vision very much. It still does. But this dot could actually be really useful for very flicky players, players who have very good muscle memory and rely on that a lot to shoot. Obviously with Lucio you wouldn't be doing that. But like a McCree or something who really relies on flick shooting could actually benefit from the dot because it does give you the most overall vision, just the worst vision in the center of the screen. But there is something else you're losing from the dot that you get with the crosshair. The reason I would still say that the crosshair is better for most players and that the dot is only for really, like, I guess, talented, flicky players, like, you know, the 15, 16 year olds who have the crazy muscle memory, muscle memory gods or whatever, uh, because the crosshair actually gives you more than just looking cool. The lines are for a reason. The lines here help you line up your shot. So for example, if I'm over here, this line, this horizontal line here, actually helps me line it up. I can clearly see that it's pointing at the bot. And so I know that all I need to do is just go straight to the left and I can shoot him. So it helps you line up your shot better. Uh, e similarly, if we're up here, you can draw the line straight down with the bottom line of the cr crosshair. Whereas if we're over here, and we draw a line straight down. Clearly, oh, well, no, that's off. So now we have a better idea that, okay, we need to go over a little bit to the left and down, and we're good. So still, I think a lot of players will be better off with the regular crosshair and not using the dot. Only use the dot if you are, like, really good, a really, really good aimer, and you utilize muscle memory style flick shooting. Anyway, that's for the perfectly accurate heroes. You know, May is another one. Her thing always goes in the exact same place every single time. And here I've highlighted all of the precise heroes that I think do very well with that type of crosshair. You can pause the video if you want to check that out. But next we have the spread heroes. And these are mostly shotgun heroes. But there are a few other heroes that have spread, like 
uh, Tracer and Sombra, for example. But we'll get the, to those in a second. So, for example, Doomfist, he has a shotgun. Shotguns always have spread. With shotguns, it's not always best to aim perfectly at their head, like I am right now. You can see that half of the circle is off of this training bot's head. It would be even worse if this was a real player with a smaller hitbox. So for shotguns, it can be very helpful to use a circle that shows you the spread. For Doomfist here, we have a circle that's showing his spread. That way you can see, okay, you can line it up perfectly so that you get as much of the head as possible, but you don't go off. That way all of your bullets are shooting and you know exactly where to point to do optimal damage every single time. Now it would be tricky to go through and figure out the number, uh, the gap number for each individual shotgun hero because they all have different spreads. But hey, Blizzard has your back because all you have to do is, for example, let's go to Doomfist, go to the circle type, and if we turn show accuracy on, it just automatically gives us the correct circle to go to the spread. So for example, with accuracy on, we can go to Roadhog, and it gives us his spread, exactly. It's pretty cool. So with Roadhog, you can say, okay, same thing. If you point at their head with Roadhog, you actually do less damage, because a lot of the circle is off their head. So if you point more down like this, look at that. It's quite nice. It's really nice for when you hook people, you know exactly where to aim. All cool, all dandy. A hero like Sombra also gets a ton of benefit from this, and I have accuracy on for her as well, because when you first shoot, it's quite accurate, right? But then you can see that you have to actually drag it down a little bit, because my circle is, uh, like, like usual, a little bit off their head. So the circle clearly can show you that, okay, you start on their head, and then you drag down for optimal damage. Orisa is, of course, the same way. Also, Tracer and Reaper. Here I've circled all the heroes that I consider to have a spread pattern on their weapons. Now, quick important note before we get to the third category of heroes is, uh, so, Soldier 76, he does have a spread on his weapon. If you look, if we shoot too much, the bullets start to spread away. Yet, I still use the precise crosshair because, well, most of his bullets are still going straight. And when, you know, there's a certain point at which you kind of have to just memorize certain things. Like with Soldier, I know what Soldier's spread is. I know when Soldier's spread begins. The benefit of having the crosshair spread out is not that great, because I know already on which shot his recoil will begin and how much it'll approximately spread. It's not quite the same for Tracer or Sombra, who always permanently have spread on their weapon, no matter what, like there are no accurate shots at all on either Tracer or Sombra's gun. And so that's why for both Bastion and Soldier, who have a lot of accurate shots, followed by a couple of shots with spread, I still keep this precise crosshair. Next, let's talk about heroes that don't have to aim at all. Winston is an example. Symmetra is another example of heroes that just, uh, they literally have no gun that they have to aim for. So for these heroes, I actually kind of like having just a transparent dot in the center of the screen. So it's basically it basically makes it so you almost have no crosshair, but you still have a little bit of an indicator for if you want to go for a quick melee, I, I don't know, like if, if you want to line something up, you still have at least some idea of where the center of the screen is. But I actually quite like, the, I quite like this dot. It gives me basically a full clean screen while still having, you know, if I if I really need to know where the center is, I can still find it if I want to. You can make this a little bit easier to see by either just increasing the transparency, or you can make like a little bit of a ring around the circle. Let me, yeah, so you can make like a, like a little bit of a ring around the circle if you want to make it slightly easier to look at. But this is the crosshair. I think that this is just optimal because you don't need to have a crosshair for these heroes really, but it's still okay to see where the center of the screen is. The Heroes Who Don't Have to Aim Award goes to Symmetra and Winston. Now, you could also run this on Reinhardt, for example, though the Precise Crosshair could help you with Fire Strikes. You could run this on Mercy, but the Precise Crosshair can help with your pistol. And you could run this on Junkrat, but the Precise Crosshair would probably help with your grenades. So uh, I think that you could run this sort of transparent crosshair on all five of these heroes, but Mercy, Reinhardt, and Junkrat, you might want to use the regular crosshair for those because Mercy has a pistol, Reinhardt has the fire strike to aim, and Junkrat obviously just like has his regular bombs to aim. 
I just realized we probably have a lot of new subscribers who haven't been around for a long time at this point. Uh, if you don't know, we have a Discord channel, and it's really, really awesome. You can get free VOD reviews from, you know, Master, GM, Plus players. You can ask questions all the time that oftentimes I'll answer if you tag me. Plus, it's just a great, it's just a great community. It's probably the best community in all of Overwatch. And I'm, I don't, I'm not saying that just because it's mine. I'm saying that because I really do think uh, that it's pretty awesome. Uh, the, my mods also do a great, great job. They do so much work. So big props to them as well. That's down in the description below. Uh, so, hey, come out, hang out, all that good stuff. Anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. I think I'm going to go walk my dog for a little bit. All right, because finally it's not raining for the first time in, in a long time. It's been raining for the past three days in a row. Anyway, my woes are of none of your concern. Never forget to stay positive and have a great day.